Hi, it's Dr. Ron Miller again with CashBasedPhysicalDiary.org and we are breaking down my startup checklist and going over each segment um, to help you better understand this and what steps you need to do to open up your cash-based physical therapy practice. So today we are talking about the internet and social media. So you have to take advantage of social media. Nowadays it's free marketing and you can build up a great following on social media that will help market and uh, get people calling, get patients calling, stuff like that. So just going over some basic things, okay? Yes, you have to register your, ba your business with Google, Facebook, and many of the other social media things. So definitely I would target Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Those are the major search engines. You know, 80% of searches are going to be on Google, so Google is a must. And here's a little hint, you have to get your patients to post their testimonials on Google because it's gonna, in, it's gonna get your rating improved, um, especially on local searches. But 80% of searches are on Google. You, Google is a must. Social media wise, um, I would definitely do Facebook, Instagram. There's a whole reason why I do Instagram now because of Facebook's algorithm, but that's a whole nother thing. I like educating the patients um, and the public on YouTube, so I create a YouTube channel. Um, I don't tweet. I just never saw the real value business-wise to tweet or not. It's not like my patients need immediate information about news, so I don't have a Twitter account for the business. But I do have a YouTube, Facebook, Instagram account and an active blog, but the blog is more on the actual website. I have a Pinterest page, but I, st I stopped using it. It's not that informative anymore. Um, but again, for the social media things, definitely Facebook, YouTube, um, LinkedIn is more of my professional one, so it's not linked to my actual business. Um, Pinterest I do have, but I don't use that much. Instagram is definite now because Facebook's algorithm has changed. Facebook is actually more of a marketing platform now for a business, not necessarily social media, but we can go into that. That's a whole nother topic. And I go into more specifics and marketing 101 to how to make social media, especially Facebook, work, work for you. Um, because if you're not marketing on Facebook, uh, you need to take advantage of that. Um, so some key things to work on. So again, um, when you open up your business, you know, and you register your business pages with Google, uh, Yahoo, and Bing, here's a question for you. If someone is searching for physical therapy in your city and your business page pops up, how can you stand out more than all your other competition? Because you're going to have to stand out. Remember, you're going into an oversaturated market, so whether it's just PT or whether it's lower back pain treatment competing against physicians and chiropractors. You know, you need to do something so your page stands out. And this is exactly what I show you what you need to do in Marketing 101. Because if you're in an oversaturated market with lots of competition, you know, Elon Musk said it best, your service needs to be not just a little bit better, not the same, but a far superior than your competition on all aspects of this. So when you do your internet, Google, Bing, and Yahoo listings, how are you going to make your page stand out better than every other person that's coming up on that same search? Same thing with a lot of your content. 75% of the information on the internet nowadays is garbage. So your content has to be better. The stuff that you're posting from your blog to your social media to your pictures has to be better than everything else out there because half it's garbage. I mean, I watch TV nowadays. I see these back support straps such as a velcro sleeve going around someone's back or um, compression stockings with copper infused stuff or stim machines used to get a six pack I'm like come on geez this is ridiculous but your content that you share with your social media has to have purpose it has to highlight certain topics and it has to be great quality that gets people engaged um, so again, I go over all of my principles, everything that I've done and used that's proven to work for a cash based physical therapy practice in marketing 101. But at least you got your foundation set up here. You know, register your your business pages with Google, Yahoo, and Bing, and then from there 
you can get into some of the social media pages. I highly recommend Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. You can go into some of the other ones too. You can go into Health Grades, you know, or Angie's List and stuff like that. You, these are all free pages that you can get set up at least. And then um, how you use them and is it proven to work is a whole nother lecture that I go over in other videos and other training and marketing 101. So I hope this helps. It gets you fundamentally started to get things um, up and running. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment box below. And thank you for your time.